Welcome to the Wednesday, April 1st, 2015 edition of Ernerberry's Market Video, sponsored by Ernerberry's Prospector. In today's video, New Finland's cold water shrimp quota gets set. Then later, we take a look at institutional turkey breasts. But first, the USDA released its prospective plantings report on Tuesday. Here with the highlight is your host, Jamie Chadwick. The USDA's prospective plantings report showed corn planted for all purposes in 2015 is estimated at 89.2 million acres, down 2% from last year. If this figure is realized, it will be the third consecutive year corn acreage has declined and the lowest planted acreage since 2010. Soybean planted area is estimated at a record high of 84.6 million acres. Soybean planting intentions are unchanged or increased in 21 of the 31 major producing states. With corn prices falling in recent recent years and the expectation throughout much of the industry for that pattern to continue in 2015, it comes as no surprise that acreage dedicated to corn is declining. Converting acreage from corn to soybean production is relatively easy for much of the country and in some instances growing soybeans proves to be more profitable, warranting the record high estimated soybean plantings. For more on this and other crop coverage, subscribers can click on the news link in Comtal. Next up, SeafoodNews.com staff writer Michael Ramsing takes a look at Newfoundland's cold water shrimp quotas. Canada's Department of Fisheries and Oceans announced this week that the 2015 fishing quota in Newfoundland's cold water shrimp fishing area 6 would remain at 48,196 tons. The federal announcement confirms our previous report where scientists, surprisingly, found Newfoundland's Pandalus borealis biomass to be quite stable in the import in area 6. Expectations were for Newfoundland's cold water shrimp catch to be far less than 80 million pounds now projected to come out of the fishery this season. However, the issue of shrimp decline and how to manage allocations is not going away, writes John Sackton. Key Sullivan, president of the Fish, Food and Allied Workers Union, will be in Ottawa two days this week to argue that adjacency among Newfoundland shrimpers should trump the last in and first out policy. Subscribers can read more about this week's cold water shrimp developments at seafoodnews.com. More market data and expert commentary from the Pendalis fishery can be accessed under the Seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks, Michael. With Easter on our doorstep and Mother's Day on the horizon, HRI buyers are taking a closer look at institutional turkey breast. Here's poultry market reporter Terrence Wells with the analysis. There's a sense in the turkey industry that the breast meat market is developing into something stronger and more resilient than what was initially indicated at 2015's outset. As a result, institutional sized bone-in turkey breasts have found themselves back in the spotlight. With Easter this weekend followed next month by Mother's Day, HRI lines such as bone-in breasts are closely being watched. Production related developments associated with high path AI in conjunction with very limited freezer inventories and seasonable or better demand are creating an environment which is not very conducive to bone-in breast production. At a current quotation of $2.15 per pound, the return on a 14-16 pound breast is considerably greater than the return for boneless breast meat at about $3 a pound. Meanwhile, despite supply constraints, the spotlight is appropriately shining on institutional breasts, which are valued well above any re recent year at $0.55 cents per pound, above the first quarter's three-year average of $1.60 per pound. So. I guess Terrence, that concludes today. today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customize searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.